there's uh, the Christopher Nolan collection, and uh, these are all his films, and the review here I'm going to be is talking about these films that are in 4K UHD Blu-ray. Now, the first three films that he did, you can't actually get on that format, sadly. In fact, following, you can only get on DVD. That was his first film that he did back in the late 90s. Quite a good film, difficult to track down, but uh, sadly, only available on a DVD. Next two films, Memento and Insomnia, you can't get on 4K UHD Blu-ray, but at least you can get them on standard Blu-ray. Although Insomnia is actually even difficult to get on that form. I had to get mine imported, as you can see here, but uh, you can get it. Incidentally, my tattoo is actually uh, Christopher Nolan, movie-related uh, quote there from uh, Inception. Just kind of side issue. Um, okay, so um, let's have a look. Now, the last video that I did was on Batman Begins and some of the bad reviews that this film had been getting on the on this format. Now, the video that I did kind of speaks for itself. I will say that the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises did kind of uh, give a little bit more in terms of the HDR aspect, not just an improvement in terms of the resolution. But uh, it really did stand out. The resolution uh, improvement really did stand out. It was definitely distinct from the Blu-ray, which was already pretty damn fine, to be honest. So definitely worth getting this. i just say to anyone who's upgrading from any of the collections, just uh, be wary of the extra features. You might find that you're actually missing out if you uh, get rid of your other collections, depending on which one you've got. But again, that's up to you when you buy this thing, just to check that out. Now the next film, The Prestige, um, I really was I, I expecting that certain bits in this would shine in 4K, uh, particularly with regards to the HDR aspect, and I was right because, um, for example, I knew that the scene where Hugh Jackman goes into the, uh, the field where the light bulbs are, the scene with Andy Serkis when he goes to visit Tesla, I knew that that bit was really going to stand out in terms of the uh, HDR aspect. And I was definitely right there as well. So that was really nice to uh, to have that. Now, uh, next we have Inception. I tended to find with this one, it was mostly the resolution that was the uh, the really good aspect of it. Not so much the HDR. Uh, but again, that's it's, I say for stuff like that, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know? so the next person that watches this on this format might find it slightly different. But that was just my take on the thing. I'm not saying that the HDR aspect... Um, was non-existent. I'm just saying I tended to notice the resolution improvement more than anything else. Now, uh, Interstellar, on the other hand, I found that the HDR aspect, uh, especially in certain bits of the film, like when they go through wormholes and they're in space, that kind of thing, um, was really kind of uh, trippy and psychedelic and looked really nice in HDR as well. So this one really did stand out in that sense. Dunkirk, which is the last one I've just finished watching this one now, wasn't really expecting much because I thought it's a fairly standard uh, colour palette to the thing, but it absolutely shined. I mean, it wasn't just the HDR, also the resolution. I mean, some of the scenes where uh, the Spitfires are uh, flying over uh, the ocean just looked really beautiful, and uh, it's really nice to having seen this in IMAX to then kind of relegate this movie onto the TV screen to have it in such great quality. It brings back the memories of seeing it in the IMAX cinema back in the summer. So uh, really nice collection. Like I say, I've kind of been talking about these films uh, and how, how to get them and how much they cost uh, on previous videos on the channel. You can see that already, but I'm saying I've no regrets buying these at all. Really nice collection, and I wasn't disappointed by any of these films. So uh, that's my endorsement. Anyway, I'll leave you there, Bronix Reviews. You can follow us on YouTube, obviously, Instagram and Facebook. But for now, I'll, say le I'll just leave there and say thank you very much for watching. showing it in the video anyway so uh, these are the the films and like i said i've spoken about batman begins previously and there we go